welcome everyone to your meditation messages. Um, I, uh, first card coming out, guys, is believe in yourself. You are important. Don't forget your affirmations. You are important. You are lovable. You are special. Uh, these are the meditation cards. Let me just show you these really fast. These are the art of med uh, manifestation oracle guides, right? Um, and they're great for meditation as well because they teach you all these things. So um, believe in yourself, right? So you are a unique and extraordinary person wherever you've come from. Whatever has happened to you in the past, it's time to let go of any negative perceptions that you may carry about yourself. This is the first steps. These are like, I don't know, it's really crazy because it's like the first steps to manifesting. Everybody is almost like we do it a little bit, but we don't always have the outcome that we're looking for because there's so much more to it that we're missing some pieces. Okay, so number one, number one, there's two number ones here. Manifest with no expectations, okay? You don't want to have any expectations. You just want to trust in the universe, right? right here and allow yourself to receive that's number one right because we never want to 100 you know percent expect anything because when you have expectations then when it doesn't come in you have all this it feels like failure you have doubts disappointments and it just you know destroys us right so we don't want that other number one rule is you don't attract what you don't want guys do not attract what you don't want okay you attract who you are okay so you don't attract what you want you attract who you are this brings in what you want wants you okay the more you push towards it it causes a negative energy so don't chase it don't chase it right let it go let it flow energy of fear of not having causes desperation to have it now. We don't want desperation because that's all negative energy. We want to what? Let it come when it needs to be worth the wait. It's worth the wait. I put out my intention. I know what it is that I want, right? But take the action now. Okay, so going back to <clears throat> this right here. Number one thing that, you know, I just got this whole big thing is, is Breaking it down the easy, simple way is what is your present mindset now? Think about that, guys. What is your present mindset now? In the present, what is it that you want? What are the goals that you look for? So for the present mind, remember, it lays the stepping stones for the future. Don't think about what happened in the past. We let go of all that. Release the past. Take action now. Clear out all the past stuff. Don't worry about it. Think, who am I now and what am I doing now? that's going to lay the foundations for the future. So think about it. Where are you in three hours from now? From now, that's the future, right? Now keep going. Where are you in a week? That's the future. Build your path now to see yourself tomorrow because today lays the foundations of tomorrow. Then start manifesting. Okay, well, if I do this today, this is what I really want, but really bring it into visualization. Look, more than anything, you already know what you want, whether it's love, money, promotion. You already know what it is, but do these visualizations. They actually do help, okay, because you're manifesting on the mindset of now, right? I'm good enough. Don't forget your affirmations. I am good enough for what I am doing tomorrow. I know who I am. I know where I'm going, and I know what I need. So you're paving these stones, laying down your own foundations, setting your intentions. This will give you more desire, more trust within the universe, allowing you to receive better, right? It allows you to, you know, for the miracles to come in. Right? So now you say, oh, I can get the blessings, I can get the gifts, I can get the miracles, the things that I want, the things that I desire, they look more like realistic things than just, it's a fairy tale, it's a delusion, I'm never going to get these things. No, because you're paving them from now. So your mindset is a little bit different. You're not doing it out of fear. You're not doing it out of, I totally want, 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 or have to have, have, have. No, you're saying, 
This is what I want. This is what I desire. These are my intentions. And you're doing them from a different point of view and a different vibration. Because remember, the universe runs at a very high vibrational frequency. So while manifesting, we have to try to match that frequency. So if you're doing it when you're excited and you're thinking about it now, you're like, you know what? Yeah, because if I put in this kind of work tomorrow, I'm so worth, you know what I mean? I have the value within myself to be able to get to where I need to be tomorrow. I am lovable. There's no reason nobody would want to love me. See, your, your vibration is already different because you're thinking about it from the now at a higher vibration. So keeping those vibrations higher cause it to not seem like it's so far off into the distance. Then it'll be easier to work, you know, it'll be worth the wait. And then this is better because then you have the outcome. This card says, <clears throat> I ask you not to be attached to a specific outcome. In any new situation, the possibilities are open-ended. Anything might happen. Try not to prescribe a fixed outcome within your mind, as this may limit your ability to access the infinite scope of possibilities sent to guide you in the best possible direction. That's why it says don't, you know, never expect 100. And never expect the way you visualized it to be exactly that way. Because more than anything, it's, you know what I'm saying, it'll probably never come exactly that way. Or it might not come exactly in six to five days, right? Because it'll be worth the wait. But you have to trust within the universe. Here's where the tricky part comes, right? The tricky part comes is, are you allowing yourself to receive? Many of us are givers, but we don't know how to receive help. We don't know how to receive anything coming to us. So you have to be able to be open to the universe and trust within the universe. And even if it doesn't come when you thought it was going to come, that's why I don't like these manifest this in 60 days and it's here. Yes, I've tried all that shit. It doesn't work. Okay. And people who say that works, I don't know what kind of magic they're doing, but the majority of people, it won't happen that way. Okay. For a lot of you, I think it's some kind of like propaganda to push something or something. I don't know. Most of the times it doesn't. Okay. Because why? Because you have to trust in the universe for divine timing. And a lot of the divine timing is not really what you think it is. Divine timing is how much are you allowing to receive? How much growth are you willing to allow? Are you worth waiting? What is your frequency? Do you have things that you have to do to get to where you need to be? Are you waiting on someone else? Because if you're manifesting love, that person may have another relationship they need to get out of. They may have healing to do. So now you're waiting on someone else's energy to match your frequency so that you two can be together. There's a lot of things, right? So even if it doesn't come in and you're like, I manifested it in 30 days and it didn't happen, still continue to trust. Just because it didn't happen today doesn't mean that it's not going to happen tomorrow. You just keep going until it comes, right? Believe in the miracle, okay? Because not everything is exactly 100 and everybody's manifestations don't come together. That's why I don't like that video of manifest this and ask for it in 40 days and it will come to you. And it's like, okay, well, some of it came to them in 40 days. Some of them come to them in 60 days. Some don't come to them in five years, right? So what was the point? Because the universe works for everybody. We're all unique. We're all different. So right here, be your brilliant self. Be great today. Be brilliant. This card asks you to be in touch with the extraordinariness of everyday living. Go about your daily life doing everything to be the very best of your own ability. Know who you are. Be extraordinary in your ordinary way. Your brilliance is radiant into the world, will radiate, excuse me, into the world, creating more change than you could possibly imagine. Stay on course. And that's, that's that right there. Just because it didn't come in when you thought it was going to, doesn't mean that you just, oh, that was a dream. That was never going to happen. Blah, blah, blah. Nope. Stay on course. You are facing some big stuff in your life right now. This card is request that you keep going and stay on course. However challenging this may feel, please be assured that right now, this is the appropriate way forward. The universe supports your direction and slow and steady progress is assured. Now, when I was in meditation today, my guides were telling me that the best way to also do this is to 
ask, you know, when you're, when you're in prayer, meditation, all those things, before you even start manifesting, before you even start, right? You do your affirmations, right? That I love, I can have this. I'm just as good as everybody else. You know, I have the courage to do so. Whatever beautiful things that you know you are, and we all have them, okay? You also want to ask for them to release blockages. Release those blockages of people who may be interfering in your energy who are not good for you, right? Ask for those who are good for me to come to me, right? This way you're keeping the intentions pure. You don't need people from your past to be interfering in your life, blocking your intentions, blocking your manifestations, because that's what they're doing. That's why you release the past. And even if they're in the present, you ask them, just please just take these blockages away so that they don't interfere in what I need, right? You're, you're taking yourself away from that energy. Right. And then you also ask the universe to bring in energy and bring in things that are good for me. And when I manifest, I'm always like, okay, even if I'm manifesting this, maybe it never happens because maybe it wasn't good for me. So bring me the manifestations, please, that are good for me. Right. We definitely don't want to manifest anything that's bad for us. So please block everything that's no, not good for me out and bring what I need and what I want to me which is therefore good for me, right? Does that make sense? Because we know that sometimes we get crazy and we might manifest bad things, right? <clears throat> but always be open to receive, okay? And don't forget the visualization thing either, guys, okay? Always visualize what you have. It always keeps the frequency going, okay? And today's Law and Attraction card is, as I am segment intending, I am attracting. The way you feel is the point of attraction. And so the value of segment intending is that you pause many times during your day to say, this is what I want and, right? And I expect from the segment of my life experience. Now, this type of acceptance is different because this is where you're putting yourself into a certain situation, right? It's not the same as, it, as the expectation of having something huge coming. This is what I'm expecting from my myself. If I am laying the, the path for myself, then I could probably expect that in three hours, things could get better, right? After I do these videos, I expect that when I lay down and rest, I expect to wake up happy, not drained or not any of the above, right? Okay, so this is from your own life experience. And you set forth those powerful thoughts. You will attract them into your experience of what you want. So it's more like attracting, expecting, you know, the happy things to come through. Because I am attracting. You want to attract, right? So you're still putting it out there that I believe in miracles. I trust in the universe that this will happen. But I'm not 100% expecting anything. Because, boy, if it doesn't come in, I'm going to be down. I never want to manifest again, even though that's not possible. Your mind manifests every day of your life while you're thinking you're manifesting. So, and I know that this, you know, it's crazy. My husband was just manifesting a dog. He kept telling me for like two months, we want a dog. I want a dog. And I kept telling him, we're not getting another dog. We're not getting another dog. This dog showed up at his work. His best buddy. Right? And I'm like, there's your dog. You manifested it. There you go. He doesn't have to come at home. He is the yard dog. But he manifested it. He just kept talking. I want a dog. I want a dog. And he just stayed on course. Would not be quiet about it. He put out that intention. He knew what he wanted. And sure as shit, last month he got a dog. <laughs> the yard dog. And there, there's the bestest friends, right? Um, and so, look, it, it worked out for everybody because I don't need to have the dog at home because I didn't want the dog, right? I already have one. And she's older and she just doesn't really want any other dogs around. Um, but he got what he wanted. He got his dog. And I got my wish too, that it doesn't have to be here. See, so it's crazy how the universe, it worked it out perfect. He got exactly what his intention was. And I got exactly what my intention was. I got my I don't want and he got his want. So it's just crazy how that works. 
Um, but it's kind of funny because it was one of those things that he set the intention. He talked about it for about a month or so, never heard another thing. And then all of a sudden, you know, in June, here comes this dog. He forgot all about it. He was like, hey, guess what? I got a dog. It's crazy, though, because he never even thought he manifested it. He didn't even think about it. Just this crazy dog showed up. And I told him, oh, my gosh, you manifested a dog. Keep that thing up, you know. Make sure you keep him at work. He's like, oh, no, he's the work dog. So that's the point of manifestation in the ideas of we do manifest. Have you guys ever thought about something that's like, oh, my gosh, I always wanted one of those. Somebody brings something to you, and you're like, oh, my gosh, I'll totally take that. I always wanted one of those. Probably because you manifested it one time or another because you had it in your mind. You thought about it, and you're like, oh, I wish I could have that. Now was your time. Okay, guys, I hope that helped. These are just small little helping videos um, to help you manifest. Um, I'll do a couple of other ones as I continue to keep learning. Um, let me see what we have over here in these cards really fast. Let's see what's going on. Just some kind of pointers. And watch your signs and synchronicities for when it does start happening. You start getting 111, 222. We all know about those, right? Watch your signs. Watch your animals. First card coming out is acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Okay. Abundance 88. Ooh. Here it is. Allow yourself to receive that abundance. Over here on believe and succeed. Or believe in yourself. Excuse me. I want to say succeed no matter what. Is a manifestation. Coming out on the outcome is surrender 91. So you might be seeing a lot of eights. You could be seeing a lot of tens, nines for the endings to the new beginnings. Okay, over here on receive is ooh, communication 33. Make sure you are communicating with the universe, trust in the universe. Listen for their communication. Watch for their communication through signs and synchronicities. And make sure you're always communicating with the universe, you know, as much as possible. <clears throat> Believe yourself is I am peace of love. Ooh, peace. I am a being of love and release all negative energy. Nice. And last one is trust. I accept that in my inner voice will always guide me correct, correctly. Yes. Yes. And patient. I accept that everything happens in divine order. And that's that. That's, you know, that's that patience. And like I said, a lot of it is not just waiting for the universe to do something. It has something to do with your energy. What are you learning? Are you on target? Are you doing things? We'll go over that in another session, okay? Because these are going to be run in sessions. Otherwise, the video will be a thousand, thousand hours, right? Okay, guys. Till next time. Peace and love.